Um, I think the fact that it is new and um, it seems to have the right intentions. It seems to have the right leadership at this time. Um, it's a very supportive environment for faculty and as far as I can tell, students are also responding really well. So I have a lot of hope that we've started in the right direction. Actually, citizenship is usually studied in the context of the nation state. Um, but it's a really old concept and its origins are in fact in the Greek city-states. So it's very uh, useful to study what modern urbanization means for citizenship because uh, cities are communities just like nation-states and they may uh, work or they may not work as far as citizenship is concerned. Um, and citizens may have different claims on the city just like they have claims on the nation-state. So that's what my essay explores. So gender is one of the foundational social categories by which we live our lives um, and it can be um, deeply impactful on the way in which politics is perceived. We largely assume that we live in uh, societies that are dominated by uh, the traditional interests of uh, men as a social group, uh, which are prioritized over the interests of women as social groups. Um, but of course, it's far more complex than that. Uh, we live in a world where we have formal equality between men and women, but we can find that in actual concrete circumstances, uh, when it comes to the field of political struggle and uh, allocation of resources, which is what political science is about, um, gender can have uh, a decisive role in terms of how things are decided. So gender is crucial as far as the study of politics is concerned. Um, so when we say regional dynamics, we could be referring to a geographical region or a political region or an urban region. Um, so it is uh, fascinating to actually explore exactly what uh, a region is thought of as and how decisions are taken on the basis of that imagination of what the region is. Um, and it can be uh, quite a an ally. The region can be an ally in terms of um, thinking about space uh, outside the context of, you know, say a city or a nation state. So region is ill-defined, it's fluid, but uh, again, like many other factors in politics, it can have profound consequences for the way in which decisions are taken. Um, an example is the region I study around Delhi, the national capital region. Um, it really changed the way in which Delhi developed. So it's useful to study that. Globalization is one of these things that is um, almost impossible to escape in the world we live in. Um, so we keep saying the global is local, the local is global. We uh, even have this hybrid term called the glocal. Um, there are uh, you know, ways in which the global impacts on the local uh, that are often quite unnoticed. But if you scratch the surface, if you just go beneath uh, appearances, even something like, say, a municipal corporation in the city um, can have global influences. Um, so nothing is really as local as it looks anymore. All I'll do is actually just appeal to law students to understand that law is very much placed within the field of social and political uh, decision making. Um, so social and political decision making, the field of the political deeply impacts the way in which law is made. Law is not, uh, you know, an abstraction. It doesn't drop from heaven. Um, it is created by human beings and human beings in collectivities are always engaged in formal or informal politics. So if law students can understand the larger context of law, which is the field of politics, then it would uh, make them better lawyers. So that's the only advice I have.